I've accidentally discovered a heretofore unknown to me medical conspiracy theory that I want to talk a little bit about. And while it's not quite up to the level of HIV doesn't lead to AIDS conspiracy theory, it was equally shocking to me to hear. It's this. It's the idea that bad diet is not the cause of type 2 diabetes. This happened the other day uh, when I tweeted a joke about um, eating so many Cadbury eggs that I would become diabetic. I really like Cadbury creamed eggs. Um, people in my mentions were insistent that that could not happen. Um, and I realized that it wasn't just that they didn't get the joke. Obviously, I'm not planning to Cadbury cream egg myself into a diabetic coma. Um, and it's not that they, for some reason, didn't know that type 2 diabetes exists. And it's not just that they were angry that I was joking about a terrible disease, although that is fair, fair criticism. I joke about a lot of shitty things in order to deal with a shitty world. And I understand that's not to everyone's taste. Um, but no, it wasn't any of that. It was that they did not think that a terrible diet would actually lead to type 2 diabetes. Look, I get it. No one wants to think that their own life choices are what led to them contracting a disease. It sucks to know that something ostensibly within your control has fucked you over, whether that be smoking cigarettes or shooting heroin or just eating more sugar and fat than you need over the course of many years. I say ostensibly within your control because it, that is a tricky issue. Addictions are hard to kick. And some of us fall into our addictions through no fault of our own. Some of us inherit them from our parents who got them from their parents. Some of us just have no idea what is good for us. And some of us just don't want what's good for us because we're depressed or anxious or looking for the most fun way to shuffle off this mortal coil. And also, I get that when a disease is preventable, we have a tendency to look down on the people who get it. Smokers who contract lung cancer don't get a ton of sympathy, for instance. And obese people in general in our society get a lot of shit. Our society is pretty negative towards overweight people. We pay them less. We promote them less. Uh, we don't show them on TV and in films, despite the fact that most Americans are, in fact, overweight. But while we should practice kindness toward people regardless of what they look like and regardless of what choices they make for themselves, we can't lie about what the science tells us. A terrible diet absolutely 100% is the leading cause for type 2 diabetes and a host of other diseases. For one, a terrible diet leads to obesity, which is a risk factor for the disease. But for another, even if you are a healthy weight on the upper end or just slightly overweight like me, uh, a terrible diet can still lead to type 2 diabetes. I am at risk of type 2 diabetes because of a terrible diet. Um, the vast majority of people with type 2 diabetes are overweight. But a diet high in sugar and fat, but still relatively low in calories, can lead to a skinny person developing visceral fat, which makes them metabolically obese, even though they're at a normal weight. Literally, while I was responding to people on Twitter who were arguing that I'm fat phobic for saying all of this, I saw that the Institute of Health Metrics and Evaluation has just published their Global Burden of Disease Study in The Lancet, uh, which was a systemic analysis of nearly 30 years of data from 195 different countries. And they found that bad diets, not just too much fat and sugar, but also a lack of vegetables and things like that, are responsible for 11 million deaths per year worldwide, more than even smoking. The top four diseases caused by bad diets, they listed in order heart attack, stroke, cancer, and yes, you guessed it, type 2 diabetes. This isn't some grand conspiracy among fat phobic doctors who are trying to shame you for being fat. This is just one study of many, although this study is being billed as the most comprehensive analysis on the health effects of diet ever conducted. The data are very, very clear. What you put into your body matters. Our society is getting fatter, and so every day scientists are learning more and more about the negative health effects of that. 
there it's not good uh i know that many people in my audience care deeply about things like fat phobia and representation and the media forcing an unattainable beauty standard on women i care about those things too but unfortunately a lot of the people who are out there speaking out about these issues are also spreading a ridiculous conspiracy theory and you should not believe it it's the idea that being obese uh having a bad diet has no negative effect on your health. That is a lie and a very dangerous lie. Look, I'm not telling you that you have to be thin or that you have to be healthy. You don't. Eat whatever you want. Eat as much as you want. Don't exercise. If somebody tells you that you have to be doing these things, tell them to fuck off. It's your body. It's your choice. Uh, but don't believe the conspiracy theory that many fat activists are trying to push that says that bad diet and obesity have nothing to do with type 2 diabetes or cancer or heart disease. You're smarter than that. 